Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing people, we are again back with the next lab. So this is a username enumeration via subtly different response. So in the previous lab, uh, the response says whether the username is wrong or the password is wrong. But in this particular lab, I don't think it will tell like that as it says subtly different response. Let me go to that particular lab. Let us study what it is. This lab is subtly vulnerable to username enumeration and password brute force attacks. It has an account with a predictable username and password which can be found in the below list. We already know this. To solve the lab, enumerate a valid username, brute force this uh, user's password, then access their account page. So our end task is to find out the username and its password. But here, uh, okay, let us directly go to this particular uh, lab. I'm accessing the lab and we will talk everything in the lab itself. Okay. Yo, we have the lab here and let me go to my account. So this should give the login page. Let me give something like extruder ABCD and hit on login. So here it says invalid username or password. This means it is not telling whether username is invalid or password is invalid. But let us go forward and check. Okay. Uh, as usual, we will give the username, uh, we will try to enumerate the username, same like this and we will check uh, how it is happening. Uh, before that, let me keep it to the burp and let me give it again, just hackstuder abcd login. Uh, so we got this in the burp suit itself. Okay, let us go to the proxy. So this we are not going to intercept in live, but we have those requests and response in uh, history. So we are using this history now. Okay, here we have the username, wrong username and wrong password, which we have given. Yeah, see invalid username or password. Okay, let me take this, this to the intruder directly. No repeaters, no nothing. We don't want to do anything like that. Clear. Let me give it. Add. Okay, sorry. Given two times. Okay. Just double click and hit on add. That's all. So this is the payload position. And we already have the usernames here. So the lab has already provided the usernames and its passwords. But we are not sure which username is present in this particular lab and which password is suitable for the username okay so we have the usernames here directly and i have copied it let me control a control c and let me go to the burp suit uh yeah here paste so we have all the usernames here so we are going to enumerate the username and again in this lab so so in this grep match it is like uh, getting a particular string or a word or something like that but in this particular lab we are going to use uh, extract okay grep extract so let me hit on add you will only understand what exactly it is okay don't worry so this particular request response is available with us when we hit on add and uh, username enumeration okay 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 we don't want any of this yeah we want this one so this is the thing that we need okay so we will check whether this particular thing is available at every place in every request or not if it is not uh, available then you know we can directly see what else uh, is happening okay we can take that username as uh, as one of the valid usernames if this message does not come okay we hit on okay and so that particular thing is added here and let me hit on where is this all right yeah start attack so this will start the attack right away and we are getting the username, uh, invalid username or password string directly here. But everywhere we got the same string. Yo, see if you can see this one, we did not get the full stop. Why? Why is it so? Go here and so we did not get the full stop. 
why uh, we are not sure why did why we did not get the full stop and do we have anything else like that no only we have one thing with no full stop and this is the one okay let us take this as a valid username ad okay let me take this uh, request to the uh, intruder again okay so we are back to this intruder and clear so this time we are going to give this password okay add uh, so this will be uh, the password list which is available here sorry here okay just control c and go to the intruder and go to this payloads simple list paste okay just like that and let us let me hit on start attack So everywhere we got 200 okay response but here somewhere uh, we got 302 response. This means see you can see that see uh, it is redirecting to my account. So this is as simple as that one single full stop changed the whole picture okay. So this is how we need to understand okay uh, without wasting time. You can also do one thing just we, can, we are going to do show response in browser so this is one of the way that we can take this particular response to the browser just like that okay and let me go here new tab control v and hit enter and yeah see we did not give the username and password but we have logged in because this particular intruder uh, you know a uh, particular request and response contains the perfect uh, username and password and we went to the response clicked on right, right uh, give a right click and show response in browser so we are going to see this response in browser this means this particular thing whatever it is there that will be submitted in the browser and this is how we got or you can also directly go to the uh, this place let me close this and you can give the those particular username and passwords okay control c go there control v tab control c sorry here control c okay control v okay let me hit on login yeah as usual so there are a couple of other ways as well so this is how we can either give this manually or we can take that particular request uh, response in the browser and we can see there so this is how you can solve the username enumeration uh, uh, sorry what is this uh, username enumeration via certainly different response okay this is certainly different response not completely different response different response but yeah thank you for watching and have a great day